guys, so this is going to be a tutorial on a peacock inspired eyeshadow look and I've seen a ton of videos on YouTube on peacock inspired looks but this is my take on it and I feel like it's a very wearable look. I was inspired by these earrings in particular. And this is the look that I came up with. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, stay tuned because it's coming right up and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to first fill in my eyebrows and I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in dark. Next what I'm going to do is apply my Urban Decay Primer Potion all over my eye and we really want to emphasize it underneath our lash line on the bottom lash line because we are going to use um, very bright colors underneath. And then apply your Maybelline Crystal Glitters Jumbo Pencil and this is just a white with glitter in it all over our eyelid and a little bit onto our lower lash line right beneath it and just blend it out okay so the first shadow that you're going to apply onto your eyelid is from your Sephora Colorful Artist Palette and this color is called Milestone number 17 and it's this really pretty brown color right here. And I'm going to apply it with my Victoria's Secret all over eyeshadow brush, just like this. And I'm just going to pack it all over my eyelid. And with my L'Oreal Golden Olive Pearl color, like this. I'm going to use my contouring brush from Victoria's Secret and apply that into my crease. With the crease brush, I'm just going to blend it out a little bit and then just blend um, where I put that brown color, which is called Myosone and blend them together a little and then just blend a little up top just so the lines aren't too harsh and it fades in with the highlight color next I'm going to take must have number 06 from my palette which is this black color And I'm going to apply it with my Sigma SS219 crease brush onto the outer V of my eye. And I like to apply it on the outer corner of my eyelid and up into my crease. And with the blending brush, I'm just going to blend it out. Next, I'm going to take this eyeshadow from Smashbot called Champagne. And I'm going to use my e.l.f. all over eyeshadow brush and apply that onto my brow bone as my highlight. And with a flat tip brush, I'm going to take that Champagne color and apply it to the inner tear duct of my eye. Next, we're going to take any type of angled brush, and I'm going to go in with 
Picnic in the Park number 44 for my palette and it's this gorgeous green color right here. We're going to apply it from the outer corner of our lower lash line all the way into the inner corner. Then you're going to take another angled brush or you can use a crease brush like me and we're going to take our CoverGirl um, palette and I forgot what this is called but I think it's the Tropical palette and we're going to take this gorgeous blue color and we're just going to apply that to the outer corner of our lower lash line right on top of that green um, not too far in just about where your iris starts right here like that and then I'm gonna bring this blue up into my crease and then with a blending brush I'm gonna blend that blue in okay next we're gonna line our eyes and I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal carbon black eyeliner to line my lower lash line my waterline And then I'm going to take my Revlon Color Stay liquid eye pen and line my upper lash line. And we're almost done. The next step is to um, just curl our lashes, put mascara on, and apply falsies. And I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I have my falsies on. The last step is just to apply a highlight above your cheekbones and I'm going to be applying my um, e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder in Luminance and as you can see it's broken so I just, I'm going to sweep it in and apply above my cheekbones and up above my eyebrows. Sometimes I like to apply it down my nose and my chin. And yeah. So, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, thank you for watching. Bye, guys.